What's up everybody, I'm just back with some more RuneLight plugins that might just change your game experience, so stick around. The first RuneLight plugin I want to go over is a crucial plugin called Status Bars. Status Bars are what you see right here, with my HP in my inventory, as well as my prayer. You can either change these to special attack, or I believe run as well. You'll find this in the plugin hub, and now let's check my settings. These are my settings and I personally put HP on the left as well as prayer on the right. And overall it just centralizes all your stuff so you don't always have to look to the top right of the screen and you can just look at your inventory. Another quick tip for those who do corner gear switches instead of down here is you might want to go to your magic spell book and uncheck these three filters. What this does is it's going to sort of centralize your spells to around your gear. So when you go for a mage switch or a range switch, your surge will be right there. Again, I don't recommend this, but only if you do corner switches. Now let's get on to the next. Another amazing rune light plugin that I wanted to showcase is called Customizable XP Jobs. This again can be found in the plugin hub. Just click down here, type it in, and give it a download. What this does is it turns your, your normal XP drops to a 144 into a legitimate hit splatter. So instead of doing, you know, quick mass during your, your fight and trying to calculate what your next hit is going to be, you just look for your actual next hit. So what I like to do is, you know, as always, you see a big hit, you go in like such. As for my settings, this is what I got over here. I haven't really touched the XP drop settings, but I did a couple scrolls and what I did is I put show predicted hit as well as never group predicted hit and that should give you XP drops similar to mine. The fourth plugin we'll be going over is called Tile Indicator. What this does is more of a multitude of things and I'm not sure if it's in the plugin hub or if it's pre-installed into RuneLight. So what I like to check on is highlight destination tile, which is what you see on the floor. It shows where you're going to go. And this is pretty good for DDing sometimes because if you're at a weird angle, um, the DD might not work too much. So I'll give an example of that in a second. But what you can also do is highlight hover tile. So this just shows you what you're going to click on, not what you did click on, as well as your true and current tile, what you are on. But I personally only highlight the, the top one because everything else is just a bit too much for me. Screen markers are another plugin that can help with developing your muscle memory and just overall reinforce your clicks by outlining you know, certain spells or prayers that you, you might need to always click. So first let's take a look at where to get it and I believe screen markers is just manually installed to RuneLight so navigate this sidebar, this side panel and go to screen markers. From here you're going to simply want to go to whatever you want to highlight. So if you want to highlight say your teleblock you're going to press the plus sign right here. Click teleblock or drag it you can do whatever you want but we're going to click the teleblock. Press confirm and from here you can either change the color, change the name, and even change the width. You can uh, make it 0, 1, 2, 3, bigger, whatever you want. You can even fill it in if, if, if you so choose to do that. So, And these markers will stay through despite whatever user interface you're on. So say I'm going for a surge or a, a bolt. We're going to do a little switch. Click that and then we'll click our opponent. Now we're going for a surge. Click that. Click our opponent. Let's do it once more augury simple as that so it could be nice could be good next up we have yet another appearance of the plugin called tile markers this time we'll be using it to help us secure kills on low levels rather than using it to mark the multi lines too many times has it been that a person has gotten away from me because i simply didn't know how long i could attack them for i thought i could attack them for three tiles but it turns out i can only attack them for two tiles and the, and the cases like this, I don't go for the special attack. So these markers let you know. Last chance on them, I think. And no, they're gone, actually. Fair enough. Fucking bot. Simply add your tiles by finding and marking as well as labeling the tile where you can no longer attack a certain level. So up to this point, I can attack level 89. So we shall mark this, label it as 89, and that's how we know. Now for some rapid fire plugins. 
The first plugin we're going to go over is called Item Stats, which I believe is manually installed into RuneLight, but if not, just check the plugin hub and you'll be fine. So once you click Item Stats, you're just going to want to go to Enable Consumable Stats. And what this does is it shows you how much brew or how brewed you are down. So we took two sips here, and if we hover over the Restore, it shows how much we're um, negative in stats. Now, if we turn this off, we're kind of uh, oblivious to how many brew sips we've taken. So is, did we take one? Did we take two sips? Or did we take three? And uh, who knows? You might even take it four and then take the brew sip. But little do you know, you're still, you know, brewed down and your stats aren't as good as they should be. So another thing you can do is equipment stats. I mean, this is more for within the bank to see your different gear. But um, I like to turn it off because it's, it's just a little much for the eyes. Now for the next plugin information I want to show you is called Opponent Information. I believe this is manually installed, but what this does is shows you the amount of HP your opponent has. So in this case, his maximum HP is 96 or 98, which lets us know he's not really KOable. And what you can also do is toss this on so once you uh, start attacking someone, whether it be following, but in this case it'll be attacking, it looks up your skill difference. So I'm not brewed down at all, and you could see the difference in our skills. Now, if we follow this max level here, we can see the, again, see the difference in our skills. He's just way out combats us, so opponent information might be the way to go. The last tip we'll be going over is one that will help you gear quicker and just overall organize your bank. This is called placeholders and can be found in the top right corner of the bank. As you can see, I have some bank fillers here that is keeping my bank organized. And whenever I need to re-gear, I just click sideways like this and it makes it easier to re-gear and as quick as I can. So again, just press 10, press fill, and then it'll toss it over at the bottom of the tab. And from there, you can just simply swap wherever you want. Pardon my messiness right here. A little hypocritical. Another brief mention I wanted to make of a plugin called Bank Tabs is as you could see, I have different tabs set up for different activities, whether it be Vorkath, PKing, I mean this was low level PKing, and farming. Now, you, this can be easily set up by pressing add tab, and let's just name it JHH for fucking, I have no idea. And then all you do is simply press edit tags, press HH, and then it'll send it over to here. From there, you can also change the icon to whatever it may be, and uh, that's up to you. Though there's more in-depth settings that you might want to go into, so I'll link a video down below. Now, if you haven't already, another crucial tip that you might want to try is going down below and pressing the sub button. Have a good one.